Hello all. Today we'll see how to get some details or data in a hierarchy for an organization using SQL. So if you see the current organization, let's take an example. Say Navin is the super CEO or the super boss and five people are reporting to him. Riyas, Priya, Arjun, Nitin, Yash and three people reporting to Priya and two people reporting to Rohit and three people reporting to Yash. So let's try to get the level of organization of each employee. So Navin's level is first level and Riyas, Priya, Arjun, Nitin and Yash belong to the second level. Rahul, Rohit, Ravi and others belong to the third level and Akil and Nikhil belong to the fourth level. Let's see how to get this data using SQL. So let's go back to the SQL Studio. So as shown in the picture earlier, I have created this table and inserted some values as per a requirement and see, and see what this data table contains. So if you see, the table has all the employee details together with its, with its manager ID column. And if you see, manager ID for Naveen is null because Naveen is the super boss of this organization. So to get the level of organization of this hierarchy, we need to use recursive CTEs. So let's see how to get it using recursive CTEs. So with CT underscore EMP as select start from employee E where manager ID is null. So we'll keep star and let's keep the level as one. So if you run this query, you'll see this query returns only one row because there is only one manager ID whose level is, uh, who is the super boss and his level is one. So to get the next level of hierarchy, we need to use a union all. So as we all know, say recursive CTE, you need to always use a union all condition and the first query in the union all should always be an anchor part where the query should start from this first level. So in after in the union all the second query in the union all we need to use select from employee E in a joint CT employee CT on CT dot ID is equal to sorry employee sorry CT dot ID is equal to employee dot manager ID. So if you see the CT employee in the first level returns only one row whose manager ID is well null. So we need to get the next level of hierarchy details. That means people who are directly reporting to Naveen. So to get the people who are directly reporting to Naveen, you need to join this particular data set with the employee table. And in the employee table, the manager ID of those people who are directly reporting to Naveen should be 100. So that's why we join the CT the ID column of the CTE with the manager ID column of the employee. And here it's again employee dot star plus comma level plus one. Here level is from the CTE. So if you run this select star from CTE underscore employee. So if you run this query, Let's see what you get. Yes. So if you run this query for each and every employee, you get the level of hierarchy. So as earlier, I have told you this particular query always returns you one value where the manager ID is null, who is the super boss. So for 100, you have five people whose manager ID is 100. If you see, these are the five people whose manager ID is 100. So these fall under the level two. So here what happens this manager ID this Naveen ID Naveen value uh, is the ID column and manager ID should be Naveen. So here if you see this value should be joined with this 100 to get this next level and this entire hierarchy and again this entire data set should join uh, with manager ID I'm sorry with employee IDs. So then you get the level three 
after, after that you'll get the level 4 so as I told you earlier so employee Naveen has level 1 and manager ID whose value is 100 as the level 2 and here 20 and 10 are reporting to 100 so 20 and 10 belong to level 3 and sorry the manager ID the ID is under 20 and 10 belong to level 3 and the ID is under the employees under manager ID 1 belong to uh, level 4 so underlying what is happening as I told you this anchor part returns you the first first row and the second the level 2 so manager ID whose uh, manager ID is 100 so this is under level 2 here what happened you are joining this CTE part with the employee so in the employee the uh, the CTE part returns ID as 100 so you need to join this 100 with the employees manager ID in that case you will get the entire data set so the the query will stop as long as the data set return this inner join this inner join returns an empty data set so in if you see at the last rows the manager ID one has 50 and 60 as employees and 50 and 60 employee ID do not have any employees under them because the manager ID does not have 50 and 60 so this is the last level of hierarchy and this inner join will return null value in that case so in that case the recursive city will stop so this way this is this way you get the level of hierarchy in the organization thank you